Hi! <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Master Sarmaran, and I'm here to give you guys a little bit of an update video today. Um, just about some of the stuff that's kind of been going on here, um, some kind of stuff I feel like I should probably address here. Um, yeah. The next episode of Nuts and Bolts is going to take a little bit more time. It's something that has a really complicated process that has already kind of, it's already been in the works now, technically I guess, for a couple of weeks now. I think it has probably about, probably close to seven hours by now in production and it's still nowhere even near finished. For very technical reasons that I can get into later on when you see it. But, yeah. Um, that's still going to take a little bit of time. Um, I've had a little bit of some setbacks recently, too. And I guess I can start off with that. Um, people have already been sending me stuff like this on social media and condolences and stuff. But um, I figure there's no better way to mention this right now. Um... My grandmother, Margaret, um, my mother's mother, passed away last week, so that's kind of... I I knew it was coming. I went to see her the night before she died, and she was really, really sick. She was in a, she was in a nursing home for the last, like, six months, and her health just took a really sudden turn for the worse, and I, I knew it was coming, I just didn't expect it to be so soon. Um, her wake and funeral and stuff, that's already kind of happened by now, so it's kind of just the m getting back on track, moving on kind of thing from that. Um, so, yeah, this, everything was just so sudden and kind of unexpected, I guess, but I'm, per I'm personally, I'm feeling fine, and I wasn't even really... I didn't even really cry that much during the Waker funeral because I was I got to see her just before she passed, like only a few hours I think before she before she passed, and like I'm just I'm happy that she's no longer suffering because she was she couldn't even really stay awake she was she just looked like she was in so much pain and seeing that firsthand I'm just really happy that like I'm sad she's gone but I'm glad she's not. She didn't have to suffer for too long. So, yeah, that's, I just want to get that out of the way right now with that. Um, second thing that I kind of want to address is, um, well, there's, there's a couple things I could say, I guess, right now for my second thing. Um, my hearing's probably going to take a few days because I was just, just saw ZZ Top in concert there last night, and that was awesome, um, but, yeah, um, <sighs> sometimes you just kind of wonder what your bullet points here, I, I should have written down my bullet points, but I just kind of thought I would have just been able to go off of whatever, but it's all cool, I guess, at the end of the day, um, my next point that I want to make is um, kind of about the status of what what will happen after Nuts and Bolts is finished. Because originally, one of the reasons I originally said I was going to stop Let's Playing was that I wanted to go back to school. But very recently, and maybe sudden to some people, but I think this is probably for the best, I actually decided I'm still going to hold off on going off to school because I'm in no situation financially and m mentally and whatever. I'm just in not, not a situation to go back to school right now. So, yeah, I think it's honestly for the best at this point. Um... Because I, I, I'm just not really prepared, and that's kind of the, being the thing for me right now. Um, one of the other reasons I made the decision to kind of stop Let's Playing, it, it kind of puts a weird situation now on um, retirement or not, but I, th I think my point still stands that Nuts and Bolts is going to be my final Let's Play. If I do 
anything at all on my channel afterwards, it's gonna be on a really, really, really small scale, like maybe a one-off video every now and again. But even then, I highly doubt it. Maybe like one vlog or something if I go to a convention or whatever. But on that topic though, um, what was I going to say on that topic? Um, um, yeah. So, I can, I'm, for the Nuts and Bolts finale, I'm actually going to, which is still quite a ways off away yet, but, um, I'll actually be able to relax and kind of take my time with that. And after that finishes up, I've said it before, I want to do a big countdown of my final, for my final major, major video. Um, I would really, really like to get back to doing Mystery Game again at some point soon. I know that's kind of been on a weird hiatus for the last little while, and it's just that last time, when I brought Mystery Game back, I did like four or five videos in a row, which were mostly random Game Boy Advance games, and I still have a lot of games I would like to possibly show off, like, stuff like, um, Rayman Raven Rabbids would be an interesting one, I think, um, just games I don't really get a chance to play, there's a lot of DS games I could think of that I would like to try, like, uh, Mario Hoops 3 on 3 would be one that I've considered for a while, um, you know, I'm just looking to set my systems here to see if there's anything. Um, there's probably a couple wrestling games I could do. Um, Yoshi Touch and Go is a good idea for one. Um, maybe Diddy Kong Racing DS. I'm not. I'm not totally sure. It's all like there's just a lot of random ideas that I could have, but yeah. I guess, like, one of my... I still haven't really decided if I want to continue Mr. Game or not after the stopping point, because Mr. Game's kind of been, like, a major part of my... Ch or, like, I felt... I never really felt like it was a major point, but yet I still did at the same time. It's kind of a strange series for me. Um, and there's also just some other things, too, that I kind of want to address. Um, when it comes to retirement here... I never really made it clear what I would consider, what I would do while, like, what kind of content I may or may not do afterwards if I did retire. A couple of things would be, if someone offered me, like, or asked me if they wanted to be, if they wanted me to be in one of their videos, or if I just, if something, if some collaboration came up that would be too good to pass up, like, if somebody wanted to do, like, a co-op Let's Play with me of something I don't friggin' know, but if someone, if I thought something might have been interesting and someone wanted to do, like, a co-op Let's Play with me and I thought it was a good idea, then I probably would do that. Um, it's just kind of a, it's, it's kind of a if and or but about that, um, or if there's just more family that might want to do something, like, if you haven't seen it recently, and I would recommend going and checking this out, I recently did a video in Nuts and Bolts with um, my cousin Devin, um, which is very, very unusual for almost anything I've ever done, really, to do just something just with a random family member of mine, but I think it turned out, um, I think it turned out quite good, so I would definitely recommend going and checking that out. Um, just, it was a really intimate kind of experience, you know, like, not something, like, not something I typically get to do a whole lot, and I don't think a whole, I, I, a lot of my family probably doesn't even understand kind of the things that I go through with when it comes to the channel, but, yeah, um, the other thing, the, the other reason that I said I would consider retirement was that, um, and to relate to music here, this kind of reminds me of a recent situation with the band Deep Purple, because um, uh, I said a year ago I was undergoing some major health concerns. I had tendonitis in both my hands that made, it was, my hands were so swelled that it hurt to even pick up a controller for more than a couple minutes. 
So, it was, and I still feel minor side effects of it sometimes, but it's not, and it's nowhere near as much as it once was, so that's why everything's been kind of back to normal, seemingly, for most of the year. But that's why I didn't do anything for seven months last year, because I just couldn't, and that really bothered me for a really long time. So, yeah, um, there was a lot of games, I mentioned it before in my 10 year anniversary video, um, last summer I had plans to redo Metroid Prime, uh, once that finished, which I think that would have only been like maybe 15 videos or something, um, I'm not totally sure, but it wouldn't have been that, that long, I would have done, I wanted to do Minish Cap in the fall, and then I wanted to do Super Mario Galaxy, like, around the time... Because Mario Galaxy is... It's a game that's really dear to me, personally, and it came out ten years ago last November. So, it's a game that I thought just would have made sense to do back then. But, yeah, honestly, I mean... I think that... I think I've kind of said everything that I needed to... If there's one game I would maybe consider doing a series on, it might be Smash Brothers Ultimate, because I'm really excited for that, but that's a big, big maybe. Um, and maybe I might just... I, I, I don't know if it would be on another channel, if it would be on this one. I really don't know. Um, I'd rather just... The other thing, too, like I said especially with my anniversary earlier in the year, is that 10 years is just such a really long time to be doing this. So, because it's it's been 10 whole, a full decade since I started the channel, so because of that, I mean, I kind of... I mean, I don't, I don't have anything else I want to prove. I mean, like, it's... It's one of those things where I've got nothing left that I haven't already proved. I've done probably just about 50 Let's Plays on my whole channel over the last 10 years. Um, more, Way more than that if you count the numerous things I started then cancelled. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. There's all the stuff that... I I'm kind of rambling at this point. I'm sorry. But yeah, there's just kind of a lot that... I, I don't really have a whole lot more I really need to say, but it's it's been a wild ride, and I don't think that I don't think there's really a whole lot more I need to say or prove, I guess. So yeah. With all that being said, though, I think that's gonna do it for this update video. Again, I just wanted to say apologize for the next uh, episode of Nuts and Bolts taking some time. Um, it's just kind of, I'm just going to probably, I guess, take it day by day at this point and figure out what's going on from there. I'm hoping there's not another delay like this, um, so, yeah. With all that being said, I think, one, before I end this video off, just one more minor thing. Um, I announced back in my 10-year video I was writing a memoir, um, that's still happening, I've just been kind of slow at that, I apologize I haven't really been updating on that a whole lot, but there just hasn't really been a whole lot to update on that, it's been, I've been kind of taking a bit of time on that, and I saw, I, I do apologize for that, but I mean, it's, it's something that I want to spend, I mean, I probably put over 30 hours into that stupid thing anyway, so, yeah, it's something that, yeah, anyways, uh, uh, enough of that, um, Thank you for watching this update video. Yeah, the next episode of Nuts and Bolts is just going to be a little bit more time, and that's all I really got to say on the matter. Thank you, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.